even though dogs are considered man's best friend, that soon can change quickly when these animals attack humans. The truth is, any dog can attack you. From the 6 pound Chow Chow to the 180 pound Saint Bernard. No dog comes with a 100% guarantee that it will not attack. However, the vast majority of dog attacks come from dogs that have not been well socialized. This means that an improperly socialized Chow Chow is more likely to attack than a well socialized Beat Bull Terrier. As such, it should come as no surprise that most dangerous dog breeds consist primarily of fighting and guard dogs, as traits such as aggression, resilience, and gameness were heavily favored when designing these breeds. In this video, I am going to walk you down the top 10 dangerous dogs in the world 2023. Kindly subscribe to my channel to promote this video and don't forget to turn on your notification button for more updates. Number 1 Rottweiler Before pit bulls came into the public consciousness as highly dangerous animals, Rottweilers were often considered the most dangerous dog breed in the world. These dogs can grow up to 25 inches tall and weigh 120 pounds or more and still be healthy. They have large body size and a temperament that can turn foul in some situations. Specifically, the dog will become very friendly and protective of those in its household, but that protection is not extended to strangers. Rottweilers are well known to be powerful protective and loyal, and can be dangerous when they attack intruders. Although Rottweilers are not a threat to the family, they are usually aggressive when they protect their owners. Rottweilers was responsible for 45 fatal attacks, comprising 10% of all fatal attacks that were witnessed during that period in the United States. Rottweilers also have a dreadful powerful bite that they know how to use to create effects. And number 2, Pit Bull Terrier. Although it should come as no surprise to most people who study dangerous dog breeds, the Pit Bull Terrier is the most dangerous dog. Why not a dog breed recognized by the American Canal Club? Pit Bull is a catch-all used to include bulldogs and terriers rather than a single dog breed. According to the American Canal Club, over a period of 13 years, the Pit Bull was responsible for 284 deaths, roughly 2 in 3 of all fatal dog attacks in the United States were pit bulls. That is a rather discouraging statistic when one considers that only 6% of all dogs in the United States are pit bulls. They were bred to be dangerous for generations as hunting dogs and fighting dogs. So it is no surprise these dogs continue to be a threat to this day. Another reason pit bulls are the most dangerous dog breed is that they have large bodies weighing up to 80 pounds, strong jaws, and great killer instincts. Humans and other animals don't stand a chance against pit bull. Still, many people insist these animals are mainly a product of their upbringing and have loving pit bulls as pets. And number 3 on the list is German Shepherd. German Shepherds are working dogs that have been put to use in military and police forces in recent decades. The reasons for the choice is obvious. These are robust, intelligent, powerful and dangerous dogs that can inflict deadly attacks on people. 
weighing about 90 pounds and standing over 2 feet tall, all German Shepherd breed is perfect at curtailing human threats. The generational breeding into working dogs has resulted in a highly effective tool. Unfortunately, as far as aggressive dog breeds go, German Shepherds excel in aggression and territoriality and they were the cause of 20 deaths which is about 5% of all dog bite deaths and numerous non-fatal bite incidents. The only silver lining in this case is that this breed is highly trainable. And number 4 on the list is Doberman Pinchers. The Doberman Pinchers has an iconic silhouette that is easily identified by the crop ears, straight back and look of constant alertness. These animals have been used as guard dogs, a job they performed so well that they became almost synonymous with the job. The name Pinchas comes from a German term that refers to their habit of attacking and biting prey. This is another breed that was bred for generations to become perfect attack dogs. It should not be any surprise that they are quite dangerous. Dobermans were responsible for about 6 deaths at a time of a study as well as many biting incidents. While not as prolific in the number, it is dangerous and capable of inflicting serious injuries. They stand between 2 feet and 3 feet tall and weigh upwards of 80 pounds. And number 5 on the list is Caucasian of Chaka. The Russian dog is a shepherd and it is tough. It can kill wolves and bear to keep its charges safe. Even supporters of this breed call it brutal. There is no question why this dog made it into the list of deadliest dogs. This breed was made to survive barren wetlands and bitter cold. So it is one tough cookie. Brave and loyal, this breed is a common police, rescue and walking dog in the areas of the Soviet Union. However, this breed is not a great dog if you have kids and other pets. The Caucasian of Chaka is a dangerous dog to other animals and to humans. And number 6 on the list is Tosa Inu. The Tosa Inu is another rare breed due to their nasty reputation that precedes it. Tosa Inus are native to Japan, where they were bred as fighting dogs. Most Tosa Inus are unhinged. To say the least, as cases of these dogs turning on their owners are common. It also does not help that the Tosa Inu has one of the most powerful jaws in the Canine Kingdom. As you can imagine, they do not make good family dogs. And number 7 on the list is Wolf Hybrids. The idea of deliberately crossbreeding wolves with dogs was an unfortunate one. The behavior of these animals is often unpredictable. While some breeders report that hybrids tend to be timid around people, others say that the animals usually retain the predatory instincts of wolves. Wolf hybrids were responsible for 19 deaths between 1982 and 2014. The Human Society of the United States considers wolf hybrids to be wild animals.
And number eight on the list is Ken Kossor. This beast of a dog was bred for fighting and catching mountain lions and boars. Just think about that for a second. The Ken Kossor was bred to catch other predators. If that is not the epitome of a dangerous dog, we do not know what it is then. Nonetheless, their fearsome looks and reputation notwithstanding, Ken Kossos make excellent family pets. This is because the Ken Kosso is self-confident, meaning that it does not feel the need to throw its weight around. Early socialization is necessary. And number 9 on the list is Pero Depressa Canario. To be fair, the Pero Depressa Canario is not aggressive by nature. Owing to their impressive size and intelligence, Pero Depressa Canarios are incredibly calm and self assured, which is why they make excellent guard dogs. However, when a period depressor canario is around unfamiliar people or animals, it becomes a danger. This breed is not only extremely suspicious of strangers, but also has an exceedingly high prey drive. As such, it can attack without warning, thereby causing great damage. Therefore, any training and socialization are necessary for pedo depressor canarios. Moreover, this dog requires lots of exercise and stimulation to prevent destructive behaviors. And number 10 on the list is Chow Chow. The Chow Chow might look like an overgrown teddy bear. However, this dog is anything but that when it comes to personality. Chow Chows are not only dangerous but also ready and willing to demand your respect at any cost. These dogs have been known to turn on their owners simply because they do not feel like doing anything that has been asked of them. Chow Chows are also lazy and can be irritable and intolerant of strangers. As you can imagine, this breed requires an owner with a strong, calm and assertive personality. Otherwise, it will work all over any kind of personality. <laughs> 